Hello and welcome to Crypto Weeklies. In this video, we are going to analyze graph and its token GRT. None of the content is financial advice. Let's get started. Uh, the reason we are covering the graph today, uh, after a while on the channel, we have covered graph uh, pretty pretty much over the course of the bear market. Uh, or the the last video that we made was about seven months ago. But if you like to stay updated with the machine learning based price forecast, you can subscribe to this channel. This is the uh, channel for for the video that you are seeing for today. Uh, the machine learning based price forecast. Now the price of graph is coming in at around ten ten and a half cents roughly speaking. Um, it does have a decent amount of tokenomics based uh, potential. Again, this is not financial advice by any stretch of the imagination. So uh, the price growth over the last uh, the, since the token launch is from 2021 till today looks like this but if you toggle with the market cap view again a slightly different chart that is your that you are seeing that is because the token launch and the token unlock schedule was of, was different from from how the uh, and and whenever the new tokens are launched the market cap might grow but the price might not show the growth because of the newer tokens getting launched again you can see over here this was much a lower high in the price whereas the market cap high was pretty significant again over 2024 as well the decline uh, in the market cap was much muted than the decline in price but now over the last one year or so the price is growing uh, or, or declining at this rate similarly if the market cap is declining at a similar rate that is because the token unlocks we are at a critical juncture over here where the to token unlocks are kind of flattening out especially starting uh, as uh, as as late as late as again Jul july of 2025 20, late july of 2025 so coming back to the machine learning based price forecast with all of this information in mind uh, this is the weekly price action of uh, graph averaged out again uh, you can see essentially the same uh, chart that you are seeing over here in a log scale uh, is 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 uh, used for training the machine learning model using seasonal arima lstm and xg boost machine learning model to forecast what the price could do in a non euphoria bull case in a euphoria bull case and in a, a bear case so let's start with the uh, uh, most likely scenario in, in this uh, phase uh, that we are seeing the recovery is this uh, bull case with non euphoria bias which is 68 percentile bull case over the next six months the price could take between 10 cents and 17 cents uh, keep in mind this 17 cents is one area of confluence that we'll be discussing throughout the video the two standard deviation or euphoria case is where the price is to a uh, 95 percentile bull case where the price in, is forecasted in that scenario between 11 cents and about 45 cents the the base case if there are uh, uh, no significant bearish narratives in the next six months the price could bottom out at around 8 cents and 10 cents if there is a, a lack of any bullish activity in a in a panic or a bear case scenario the price could see uh, or double test the 2022 bottom at around five and a half cents and it can could go slightly uh, lower between five cents and four and four point nine cents and about eight point five cents so these are the machine learning based price forecast again this model does not attempt to tell what the prices have to do in whether they have to go up or down but if, if it were to go up down or sideways what are some of the critical levels to watch using historical data and machine learning based models uh, looking at the graph from a technical analysis level this was this ascending uh, uh, line of support that um, graph essentially held since uh, December 2022 and respected it up until late January 2025 but in February as the market kind of took a downturn this uh, support flipped into a resistance potentially for the February rallies and now that uh, critical level is again coming confluent at around 17 cents if it were to manifest at around late June July of 2025 the, the, the first major areas of uh, resistance to contend with is the 20 week simple moving average and the 21 week exponential moving average coming in at around 13 cents and about 14.5 cents uh, so in the days to come if the rally were to go to that 13 cents and 14 and a half cents that would be a key level to watch uh, now uh, looking at the regression based valuation for graph uh, right now the regression valuation is slightly again this is a non-linear model so the prices uh, with, with prices going down the fair value also goes down but the uh, the purpose of this model is to identify what is a fair value at any given point in time and whenever the price is trading or trading below the fair value that signals uh, a decent accumulation uh, zone 
historically speaking even even if we are in the midst of a bull market accumulating below this uh, eventually when if it resolves to a lower high it's is not the worst idea for this model and if you want to be slightly more conservative applying a, a residual or one standard deviation residual to the fair value helps identify not just uh, the fair value but a decent buy zone uh, like a 68 percentile support under the fair value uh, right now we we did come close to the uh, fair value but not quite uh, below the uh, one standard deviation uh, residual uh, we, actually we are slightly above the one standard deviation residual to the upside as well so the the yellow line and the green line the price action stays about 68 percent of the time within these bands the so next level to watch for for graph now that it has rallied beyond the one standard deviation so uh, ceiling is the two standard deviation ceiling coming at around 13 cents and most importantly the three standard deviation ceiling if there is a euphoria in the market uh, at around 17.5 cents again confluent with that machine learning based forecast that we talked as well as uh, this uh, uh, ascending trend line if it uh, kind of back test to that level and some major resistance at around 17 cents could manifest again not financial advice uh, looking from uh, a risk based perspective the regression based model instead of looking at a weekly candle this model looks at the daily price uh, if it's uh, overvalued or undervalued helps identify what is the best time to dca again per this model the key levels to watch again in, in midst of a uh, bull rally as well as in the support in the bear market is this whenever the prices is, is essentially below the uh, 0 0.2 or 20 percent risk and uh, and the DCA below this level is definitely, historically speaking, not not the worst idea. You are essentially finding some of the uh, best deals in the market. If you go even below that, less than 10% risk, these are the uh, uh, points identified by the model. This is not some retroactively fitted model. This is again uh, a live model which uh, has some insights as as of today as well. So. Um, in terms of uh, the, the opposite is whenever the bull market has kind of kicked in this green line or the, the green dots help identify some of the risk in, entry points risk where the market has kind of entered in the risky phase but this model right now the risks are uh, elevated at around say, between 70 to 80 percent risk again the, the second model is the simple moving average price based 20 week simple moving average price risk based model this model did identify some of the major peaks uh, if we have this hypothesis only uh, to look at overvaluation in the market whenever the risk levels are uh, between 50 to 70 percent again this uh, usually is the uh, is the target for major rallies if we look for forecast what what the price could be at 50 at 50 to 60 percent risk for this model the prices could be between 37 cents and about 41 cents uh, or if you slightly go uh, to 70% target uh, between 37 cents and 45 cents. So coming back to the, uh, the the estimated bull run peak, which is a confluence of all the models. Again, time weighted average price is uh, not that useful of a model for graph. Again, time weighted average price risk is zero at this point because the price is well below the time weighted average price. The weighted risk is at about 43% or 0.43. Uh, the price is at around 20 cents the major uh, for the shorter term bull rally the major resistance is at around 23 cents or estimated bull run peak is at around 23 cents about 2.2x from the current price and with that i'd like to, like to conclude the video hope you enjoyed the content if you did please give us a like and subscribe and hope to see you again tomorrow thank you and have a nice day Bye bye